everyone, welcome back to Garner Reviews. Today we are taking a look again at the Purdy uh, Painter's Backpack. Uh, but this time I have got this thing loaded out with some of the tools that I would be using um, for doing different paint projects. Now this is by no means um, fully loaded out. There's plenty of stuff in here that I'm missing um, that I'm looking at uh, eventually putting in here. But this just kind of gives you a good idea uh, at where I'm, I'm starting and uh, I'll kind of go through some things that I know I'm going to be adding here uh, in the near future. So again, if you guys haven't seen uh, my initial impression and kind of walkthrough of this backpack, uh, check out the video before because this thing is really impressive. Um, right off the bat, you're probably going to see these sticking out here. Um, I've got a, a mini roller cage here. This one's made by Purdy. Uh, quite a few of the things in here are made by Purdy. Obviously, this is going to work for any of your stuff, but at the time when I bought this, Sherwin was doing an awesome deal where they gave you a bunch of uh, money off of uh, accessories and, and brushes and all that good stuff. So it was definitely worth getting some of their uh, products. Purdy, you know, they make some great stuff out there. So um, this is the mini uh, jumbo. I guess it's a jumbo in the sense that it's a long one. It's like a 22 inch one, but it's a mini roller. It'll fit four and a half inch or six and a half inch uh, rollers. Those are always handy. Uh, for doing smaller spaces, uh, finer details, things like that. Of course, I've got this awesome Purdy Power Lock. Now, I have used these extension poles in the past, and I really like these. Uh, this is a two-foot to four-foot one. What I really like about the Purdy ones, particularly, two things, which is kind of their standout features, I guess. You have this quick lock system up here. I'm going to pull this out so I can show you on the camera here. But you got a quick lock system right here. So you can put any uh, roller cage that accepts the, you know, kind of general standard threading. It'll go on there. It'll work. But if you use the Purdy roller frames um, that interact with this, they've got these cool little notches built in. And so what this allows is this allows you to basically get this on. It's going to lock down and it locks into place. So it's not a twist lock feature, it, it, it's on there, it can't come off, it's not gonna unwind or anything like that. So I really like that. Um, and it actually does just kind of fit once you get the line up um, with their um, roller frame, it just kind of slides right on. You don't even have to twist it on. So you can adjust it into any direction you want there. That should work, I thought. It'll go on that way for sure, but I guess it is just front and back, excuse me. So. It's this notch or this notch, I wasn't paying attention. So like that, slips right on, you're good to go. Um, so I really like that, but actually what I like more than that is their adjustment here. There's no detents. It's like a friction lock is, I assume that's what's going on here. So I can adjust the length just infinitely anywhere in there. And it locks up really good. It's very sturdy. I've never had issues with it. So I like that it's not a preset you know, different lengths. Um, that's just personal preference. Nothing, nothing wrong with it the other way, but that's just my preference. So those are going to slip in there. I'll keep those handy. Okay. Uh, other thing on the side here. Um, this is one of the little purdy, uh, what do they call this? It's like a 10 in one painter's tool. So what's cool about this one though, is it, it actually folds up like a folding knife. That's super handy. I actually, um, really like that. And it, at first I was like, okay, it seems a little gimmicky and it's kind of bulky, but honestly, putting that in your pant pocket and just working and having that nearby throughout your day when you're painting, it was actually really nice. I, I appreciated it. So um, I definitely recommend it. It locked up really good and tight. I never had any issues with it um, trying to close on itself or anything like that. So um, if you're not familiar with these, check these out, super handy, especially at the end of the day when you're cleaning out your rollers. Make sure you scrape all that paint out, makes your cleaning and you're saving paint, right? Good stuff. Okay, so that's kind of it on the outside. Let's dive into first pocket. I don't have anything in here currently. Um, I'm not sure what I'll put in there. Maybe some rolls of tape or something like that. Um, and I don't think I've got much in here yet. So I'll definitely be adding some pencils, pins, um, you know, notepads, different things like that, sticky notes, anything like that for staying organized is good. I just don't have that out here in the shed at the moment. Um, I don't have anything up here either. This is kind of a nice soft lined spot. I'm not sure what I want to put in there, honestly. Um, but I'll find something to stick in there for sure. Of course, if you didn't see the first video, this is a, a wet brush roller pouch. 
So this is empty currently. And then again, if you're at a client's house or something, end of the day, you can take all your wet brushes, rollers, throw them in there, clean them when you get home. That way you're not messing up their sink and their space, right? Okay, so first big main compartment though. Let's jump right in here. Boom, okay, very cool. So uh, honestly, these I got all these. Um, these were, again, they were discounted if I bought the backpack, so it's a great deal. I actually don't have very much experience with Purdy brushes. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. I've used other Purdy products, just not very many of the brushes, but um, you can tell I really like two and a half inch angled for some reason. So, uh, but this is their clear cut stiff. These are uh, nylon polyester. These are also a uh, nylon polyester. Um, let's see, what's the difference here? This is a medium stiff. This is stiff, I'm not sure. So kind of some different variations there. Um, I've used the Wooster. I've used the Coronas. I've had really good results with both of those as well. So those are in there. Um, again, I, I'm sure these are awesome too. I just, for whatever reason, I haven't used them very much, but we're gonna spin this around now. We're gonna look at the other side carefully. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. So, and then opposite side of the uh, second, or I guess first big large pouch here, you got your spot for all your spatulas, anything like that. Very cool. Um, these, so I did this on purpose. They've still got the uh, the uh, like label on here. I, I just want to say right now, Purdy, thank you so much for making these one of the easy peel uh, labels. It is beyond aggravating to me. Look at that. Nothing. A little bit of residue, something I can clean off real easy, but there's no paper. There's nothing stuck to it. I don't know why that's just not like a given for something like a a drywall knife or putty knives or something like that. Like I don't want anything on that blade. I want it clean so that when I go to work with it, I'm not having to deal with any of that. I can just get the work done. I can clean it up, keep it nice. So the fact that they made those easily removable is such a big deal. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, so I've got my different uh, putty knives there. This one is actually again, like a 10 in one painter's tool. I've used this a little bit too. I do like this, this is a great one, but it's, again, it's a, you know, it's like a fixed arrangement. So it's not as convenient throughout the day uh, to have on you, but it's a good little uh, 10 in one painter's tool. It's got a little key there for screwdriver, flathead, all that good stuff. So what I'll say with this stuff for now. So that's kind of that first pocket there. You have your spatulas drywall tools, whatever you want to call them, putty knives, and uh, brushes. I'm going to the second large pouch here, the big main compartment here. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see I've got my rollers here. So I've got a, a nine inch um, Purdy roller frame tucked in back up here. It's kind of through the strap there, just to kind of hold it tight. And then I've got one of these adjustable, um, boy, what do they call these ones? Pretty has a name for them. But anyways, it's like a, just a really nice large frame roller. I think this adjusts from 12 inches to 18. So um, if you have large wall spaces or I've used this particularly on like large ceilings and stuff, it works really well. You can get those big rollers on there. You can get a lot of square footage done really quickly. Again, it's got that like quick lock system there. So it'll work on all their extension poles really nice. Um, so I've, I've had really good results with with that roller frame, it's been it's been a pretty good one. So, of course, got some rollers in here, um, and then kind of the same on the opposite side here. So, more rollers. You got all your you know, three eighths snap, half inch snap is kind of how I organize it. I got some mini roller frame ones, some half inch, and then three eighths. Um, so again, there is a lot of room in this backpack and there's a lot of room for like organization. They've put in a lot of pockets. They've designed this really well. So even with all that stuff in there, I could throw some extra stuff just kind of loose in the main compartment if I want to. Um, but yeah, just, it's a super well thought out designed backpack. And then you got this main pouch here. This is again for probably like a cell phone or some sort of device that you want to keep nice and clean and safe. Um, I don't have anything in there right now and nothing on the side pocket either. So um, I'll find uses for all those spaces. Like I said, you know, when it comes to painting, you got a lot of stuff like 
paint or uh, painters tapes and you got you know knives different all kinds of tools all kinds of good stuff that you could stick in there probably even like um some screwdrivers and stuff like that for taking off wall plates or anything like that whoops wrong one so that's kind of the initial walkthrough though um let me know what you guys think let me know if you would add or remove anything how you guys would kind of set this up differently i'm honestly super interested i've done enough painting to know kind of the basics of what i like but um, I am by no means a professional painter. And so, hey, if you got some advice or you like, hey, toss this out, get this, let me know. I'm always curious, always willing to learn. I uh, enjoy that kind of stuff. So hope you guys found that entertaining, maybe a little bit of value in that. Uh, again, Purdy Painter's Backpack, super awesome. Check it out, Sherwin-Williams, and then I think uh, Lowe's and Ace Hardware Online, you can get this bad boy. So check those out and... Uh, this has been Garner Reviews. I'll catch you guys in the next one.